Hello my dear YouTuber friends and I hope you're all keeping well. Welcome to this new video which is on the Garmin G1000 NXi mod. I'm going to do my quick overview and thoughts of this and why it's important that you at least try it now and download it and get used to it. So let's get on with the video. Okay, so let's first talk about why it's important to download this and get used to it and try it now. And it's this line. If you go to the marketplace, so the marketplace, let's do this again. I'm just going to make sure my tab is on free stuff there. And just go to full catalogue of free, that, things that you can download for free on in Microsoft Flight Simulator. On PC and Xbox, I'm on the PC version at the moment. It's pretty much the same as the Xbox. Go to the G1000 NXi, so remember it's a free mod. And if you read the description, it's this line here which stands out, this bottom line that will eventually become the new default G1000 for the simulator. This could happen overnight. Probably won't happen just like that, but on the next update, on an update that they just push out, this could replace your default G1000 in all aircraft pretty much overnight. I heavily recommend you get used to it now. In previous videos, I've told people to actually uninstall this mod if they're having trouble following my tutorials. That's because I was using the default G1000 and it is different to this. I'm now telling you, forget what I said there, download and get used to this one. So with that out of the way, let's get into the simulator and start seeing what this G1000 NXi mod offers. Okay, so I'm parked up on my usual runway at uh, London City Airport, runway 27. First thing I've noticed is that these displays seem a little bit dimmer to me. Maybe a little bit more difficult to read, especially on the Xbox version because you're sat further back on the couch than the default. Let me put a, an image or video, video up of the default G1000s on screen. As you can see, they're a bit brighter. I always find them quite easy to read whether I'm playing the Xbox version or PC version. As you can see there, let's take that off screen now. Yeah, depending on the PC version, it's not so difficult because I'm pretty much sat in front of my monitor and your proximity will be pretty much facing your monitor. If you're playing the Xbox version, you're sat back. These may be a little bit more difficult to read. You would think it's a brightness problem. Here's the brightness for the avionics here. And it's full up, basically. If I mouse down to turn these down, so you can see it dimming now. And then turn it all the way back up. That's the furthest brightness that it will go to. They just seem a little bit dimmer to me. Of course, you can come down a view to look at your instruments to see your height and altitude. But it's just a little bit of a niggle. Aside from that, I'm actually loving this uh, G1000 NXi mod. Let's show you a couple of features. I'm on the right G1000, that our map view. Now on a video I did recently, I think it's an RNAV video I did with the default G1000, someone said to me their aircraft is actually pointing upwards at uh, London City instead of westwards this way as you would normally find on the default one. There's an easy fix for that, let me show you one of the features already. If we go to menu and we're going to click on enter here, the enter button for map settings. And if we use the inner knob of this FMS here, the inner knob, I'm just going to scroll up using my mouse wheel, or mouse wheel up rather, we'll get to the orientation of the map. We can press enter there. Actually, no, we don't. We go to that inner knob now to change the orientation. So I'm mousing down on that inner outer knob here rather, the outer knob, to north up. So basically this north will be upwards and west should be this way. Press enter there. 
you can see now, let's get rid of those menus to the side. You can see now our map orientation is more familiar to us. By the way, before I go further, this is just an overview video, an overview of some of the functions and things you can do with this new G1000 NXI mod. It's not going to go too much in depth. This is more for the newer players or for people who are... I'm advising people to install this mod now for people who are going to be new to this, how to change certain things and some of the simple features. So just keep that in mind. Future videos, I'll go more in depth. I'm looking to do a VNAV video or something of that sort, which will be uh, some of the more advanced functions of these G1000s. Let's continue with what I was saying there. So let's go to our menu button again and press enter into the map settings again there. Now on this map function here, let's scroll in a bit so we can see that better, you can change certain things like uh, terrain display here. I'm using the inner knob of the FMS there as you can see using my mouse button to get that flashing icon over these certain things. If we go to di dis uh, terrain display we can use the outer knob and we can turn that off, for example. So you just get a very basic map view with no sort of terrain detail. I prefer the terrain detail on. So I'm going to go back to topple there and press enter. And you've got things like the uh, scale. So we can go there. It doesn't seem to make a difference on this specific map or place I'm at. London City. But we can change the uh, range there to say to 500. And I'm not sure how many of these features are, are currently working in this current version either. So just keep that in mind. I'm going to put it back on the default uh, terrain display there. If I scroll back up there to the map. So actually let's get rid of that menu. And go back to the beginning. So press menu again. Press enter. While it's flashing in that map, in that group there, and it's got map, using the outer knob on the FMS, you can change a couple of things here too. And again, keep in mind, I'm not sure what's implemented and what's not. My weather, by the way, I've got it on scattered clouds preset. So just keep that in mind. Let's scroll back in again, continue where we left off. So, let's go back there, just start that again. So, menu, map, settings, press enter, and then while it's flashing in group there, use your outer knob, you can change that down to weather. Press enter. And then you can have things like NAXRAD data on or off. I think it's off by default, but use your inner knob on the FMS controls here to scroll down. And you can turn that off or on. Now, like I said, doesn't seem to make a difference on this specific map and my weather currently. By the way, using the range, while you're over the range, you can scroll in or out as usual. If you scroll right out, you can pretty much see the whole world. And I think that's pretty new. I couldn't, don't remember doing that or being, being able to, to do that on the default G1000. But like I say, the weather doesn't seem to be showing here. But maybe I'm missing something. I will go more in depth with this. I'm just showing you the features. Of what you can do. I'll go more in depth with this in future videos. Let's go back to menu, press enter on map settings. We've got weather selected there using the outer knob. Go things things like traffic. Now, unfortunately, the my I'm in the south of England. Over the past couple of days, the servers of Flight Simulator have been playing up. I've just been able to get online functionality back again, but it's not letting me do multiplayer or live traffic at the moment. Not quite sure what's going on. Take a note of the date of this video, the 17th of September. Let me know if you're having similar problems. But effectively, if I had AI traffic or live multiplayer traffic, and I zoomed right in, you'll be able to see them on the map or not. You can turn traffic on or off on the map using the inner knob there to scroll down to traffic on or off. There you go. I could turn that off because it doesn't make a difference to me. Traffic mode, all traffic. Oh, you got different options here you can go through. I'll go through these in more uh, detail later in future videos. 
But I've just shown you the different options there. And traffic labels on or off, so you can change that as well. So going back to menu, enter into map options. And the last one I believe is aviation. Click enter there, and then you can change various options here. So there's a whole load of settings that I'm excited to dive into in future videos with this. Like I say, this is just a simple overview. This thing here, declut declutter, current detail. It's pretty much, if we get rid of that menu button there, it's pretty much the same as this. So you've got detail all there. So let's just scroll out a little bit so we can see more things happening on the map screen here. If I go to detail, press it once, it will go to detail three, press it twice, and you can see things disappearing from the map now, detail two. And you've got this kind of like, it looks like a volume selector here. If I go to detail one, there's hardly anything showing on the map. Let's go back to the highest level, detail on, it shows you everything within the detail on the map. So there's various different things you can do there. Let's just show you one or two other things there. The procedures page is fair, pretty much the same there. Go and check my other videos that I've released when I've done ILS approaches or VNAV approaches. And it's that's all familiar with maybe one or two added little options there. Let's get rid of that procedure page. A neat feature here is the direct to. So if you wanted to type in a direct to instead of using ILS or you're just flying you don't have a flight plan set up and you want to fly directly to an airport you can click on this little icon here which is a keyboard icon and then you can type start typing in let's type in EGBB I think that's Birmingham and then I can scroll down let's just scroll out a little bit so I can see more detail actually is it going to let me now Oh, I can click that off. Click the uh, keyboard icon again to turn keyboard mode off. Now I can scroll out. And if I go down to activate, actually activate and then press enter there again. And now I'm going to fly directly to Birmingham. I don't want to actually, I want to fly to Heathrow because I want to show you something on the other screen. So I think that's EGCC, is it? Oh, I hope I have this right from memory. Well, let's just type in EGCC. It's either Heathrow or Cat. I think that's... Uh, oh, it's Manchester. Oh, dear. I've forgotten my codes. E-G-L-L. Heathrow. There we go. <laughs> I was just about to pause the video and cut that part out, but never mind. That's Heathrow. So press enter there and activate. I'm heading back towards Heathrow Airport, which is what I had set up on my flight plan. So lots of different neat features there. I've only just covered some basic ones. Specifically the map orientation, so it's more familiar. If you don't like all that detail like I showed you before, you don't want AI traffic showing in the map. I showed you that with the menu button. Let's do that quickly again. You can go. You can change that to traffic there. And then turn traffic on and off. I've got it off at the moment. You can turn it on. You'll have traffic showing in your, on your map. And goodness knows what. Various different neat features. Let me now change to the right G1000 and show you some of the features on this. Okay, so on the left G1000, which is pretty much our instrument display showing your speed and altitude and all that kind of good stuff. One thing I do like about this is actually it gives you the distance up here to your next airport or next waypoint. I did a multiplayer flight the other day, a live stream of a multiplayer flight. If you've not seen it, I'll link it in the top right for you. People were saying with the new mod, it's great that you can see it, your actual distance to the next airport or next waypoint. Uh... Pretty much we were flying from airport to airport in that video. And it will show you the distance up here. So that's a neat feature. Again, I don't remember seeing that on the default G1000. So obviously I've got uh, Heathrow set here. And as you can see, it's 19.8 nautical miles. So that's a neat feature. Another nice feature I like of this is that if you go to this map. By the way, if you don't have your GPS, depending on what uh, you're flying... 
if you want your GPS up, up here and it's not, I know this has been an issue for some people, just press your CDI key, it will switch between the different modes here. There we go, we go, we go back to GPS there. Another neat feature I like about this left G1000 is that we can insert a map overlay. So what I'll do, I'll go back again. I'm pressing the map button here. I'll go to layout button here, left click. And you can have an insert map, which is typically what we had with our default G1000. Or the HSI map. And it will put the map here. Neat feature of this here, this one is, with this range button, again. You can scroll in or out. I'm scrolling in there. Scroll out, you can pretty much see the whole world again. I don't know what use that will be if you're flying local areas. But you can adjust the range of that with this range button too. Depends on that if you like that. And again, if we go back there, you can either have topo detail on or off. Or the terrain detail off there. You can have things like traffic on or off. And all kind of, and the detail levels as well. Like I showed you before, it's detail 3, detail 2, detail 1. I showed you that on the right G1000. Let's turn all the detail back on again. So you can do some neat things there. Press the back button to get back to your normal screen here. And things like, you've got this nearest, I don't remember this on the default. Maybe it was there, maybe I just didn't look in the right place. Press the nearest button here, you get a list of the nearest airports as well. So all very neat. So yeah, I'm actually enjoying, I'm only showing you some of the features of these G1000s. There's much more detail to, de to delve into and I'm looking forward to doing that in future videos. I'm going to leave you with a question and it's something I'm struggling with at the moment. With the default G1000, I could left click this range button. A little cursor would come up on screen and I could pan the map. Now I don't know if this is implemented yet with this current mod. But I can't find a way of panning that map. I'll left click and hold, right click. I can't get that cursor up on screen to pan the map. If anybody knows how to do that with the G1000 NXI, leave it down in the comments below. Uh, I, I may have solved that and if I do, I'll, I'll pin a comment or leave it in the description. It may just not be implemented yet. But there you go, that's just a quick overview. I would heavily recommend that you install this G1000 mod. Absolutely heavily recommend it. Because before you know it, this will be implemented overnight and you won't have that default G1000 any longer. You'll just have to get used to this new one. Get used to it now. There's a lot of neat features. I do hope they increase the brightness range a little bit to make it a little bit easier to see, particularly on the Xbox versions. Let me know your comments and thoughts about that, the brightness level, and how easy or not it is for you to see your speed and altitude and various different instruments here on the left G1000 in particular. Anyway let me know your thoughts in the video, give it a thumbs up if it's been helpful to you. If you want to support the channel I do have a channel membership. I've got a few videos in there at the moment, things like how I record my Xbox footage on the PC for Flight Simulator. I've even got a flight test of a very quirky plane. So I'll be doing sort of different uh, reviews or different first impressions of aircraft and scenery and that type of thing. Click on the join button below. You won't join it, it'll just give you more of an overview of what you can expect from that. Give it a thumbs up if it's been helpful to you. Subscribe for more, many more videos on the way and I'll see you soon.